Stone Cold Steve Austin was born in Victoria, Texas, as Stephen James Anderson, on 18 December 1964, the youngest of five children. His mother, Beverly Jane Harrison, remarried to Kenneth Williams and he took his stepfather's surname. He played football at the North Texas State University. He was worthy of achieving a free education because of his football skills in school. Williams then began training at Grease Adams Wrestling School as a rookie near the end of 1988 and made his professional wrestling debut at the end of 1989. He then moved over to minor wrestling companies to wrestle for money and later entered WCW under the name of Stunning Steve Austin. He didn't make a large name for himself in the company as he only held an embarrassing to TV titles. Austin was fired by WCW and joined the WWF, now known as WWE, in December 1995. Austin left after a while to go to ECW but only stayed for a couple of weeks before he came back to the WWF as Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin then disposed of his old finishing move The Million Dollar Dream, which was the trademark of Million Dollar Man Ted DiBias and began racking up the victories with his Stone Cold Stunner kick to the gut followed by a jawbreaker to win his first heavyweight title. Austin then went on to enjoy three months as champion when he lost the title to Kane, Glon Jacobs, in a first blood match on 28 June 1998 at King of the Ring. However, Austin regained the title a day later and was forced to compete for it in a tournament at the 1998 Survivor Series. He was defeated by Mankind, Mick Foley and later that night, The Rock won the championship and joined the corporation. Austin's hopes raised yet again when he eliminated Kane from the 2001 Royal Rumble, therefore becoming the first and only ever three-time Royal Rumble winner and the number one contender for the WWF Championship. At No Way Out 2001, Austin lost a two-out of three falls match to Triple H when they both knocked each other out, but Triple H fell on top of Austin. Later that night, The Rock defeated Kurt Angle to become the first-ever six-time WWF World Champion, therefore deciding that the main event at WrestleMania X7 would be The Rock vs. Stone Cold Steve Austin Austin defeated The Rock on 1st April 2001 for his fifth WWF title, but turned heel when he joined forces with Vince McMahon. The Rock was suspended from the WWF for almost four months. Austin's reign as champion lasted for five months and 22 days, which was the longest championship reign in several years. Austin won the Tag Team Championship with Triple H at Backlash 2001, but they lost them again on 21st May on a taping of Raw to Kreese Zerico and Kreese Binot. In that same match, Triple H tore his quadricep muscle and had to go to hospital for eight months of surgery. At King of the Ring 2001 on 24th June Austin retained the title successfully from both Zerico and Benoit in a triple threat match. Austin shocked the world by turning heel again on 22nd July 2001 when he joined the WCW-ECW alliance, helping them win the inaugural brawl against the WWF and also invented the catchphrase of 2001, which was what? However, Vince McMahon reinstated The Rock on 30th July. In August, Kurt Angle started feuding with Austin and was determined to take the championship back from him at SummerSlam. Austin disqualified himself to remain the champion, however, Angle won the title back from him at Unforgiven on 23rd September. 2001 Austin then regained the title from Angle on Raw in October when William Regal came to his aid. In November, 
Austin narrowly escaped losing the title to The Rock at Rebellion with a little help from Kurt Angle. Later that month, The Rock put the WCW ECW alliance out of business in the winner take all match, which was also Austin's first loss to The Rock. However, Austin returned to the federation still as the heavyweight champion the night after but lost it to Chris Jericho on 9th December 2001 when Jericho became the first ever undisputed champion when Austin was defeated in the grand finals Austin then challenged Jericho for the undisputed title at No Way Out 2002 in February and would have won the match but the envo interfered and attacked Austin helping Jericho retain the title Austin then feuded with the NWO's Scott Hall and faced him in a match at WrestleMania X8 which Austin won even putting away the difficulty that was made by the constant interfering of Kevin Nash At Backlash 2002 Austin faced The Undertaker in a number 1 contender match for the undisputed championship But Austin was screwed out of the decision when the undertaker booted a steel chair into his face and covered him for the pinfall Austin had his foot on the rope but special referee Rick Flair didn't notice Austin began feuding with Flair and faced him in a two on one handicap match at Judgment Day 2002 Flair's partner was Big Show Paul White That would be Austin's last PPV match as early in June He did not show up for a taping of Raw. Austin has not been seen since. He is 62 and when he first entered the federation he weighed 241 pounds. But boosted up to 250 to later on in his career. He says that his weight depends on how much beer I drink.